After the Democratic Republic of Congo's M23 rebel group called an end to a 20-month revolt, Kinshasa is now reeling with hope for peace in a region where millions have died in nearly two decades of violence. The defeat has also ignited a debate on how the fall of M23 may give a boost to President Jose Kabila. Kabila's presidency was very shaky after the rebel group swept aside UN peacekeepers and the National Army to capture Goma, the largest town in eastern Congo. There are those of the opinion that recent developments could increase his chance of seeking a third term in office. It's going to have a mix of mandate profound. The president's mandate ends in 2016. He needs to leave power. He shouldn't say that he won over M23, and for that, he can continue with another mandate. He should stop. Albert Moleke, cabinet director for the opposition leaders Etienne Shisekedi's UDPS party, believes that the opposition now needs to be even more vigilant. There is the danger that this will reinforce Kabila's regime with this tendency of punishing real opposition. I think that those who will continue in opposition need to be even more prudent and at the same time the focus needs to be a lot more strategic for their main ideas and in the main issues that they are fighting. The M23 announced on Tuesday it will disarm and pursue political talks hours after government forces drove the rebels out of the villages of Shanzu and Rignoni before dawn. A two-week UN-backed offensive had cornered the insurgents in the lush hills along the border with Uganda and Rwanda. Local newspapers call this a total victory, a landmark step for long-lasting peace in the region. Kinshasa residents are also upbeat. Now as the war is over, we can take advantage of tourism and many other things because nobody will invest in a country in the times of war. But if there's no war, many people will come, Americans, Europeans, everybody will come. While there is some sense of renewed optimism in Kinshasa following the fall of M23, Residents in Goma may have to wait a bit longer before they can fully enjoy long-lasting peace. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.